Good day, Canada. Um, my name is Johan Jordan. I'm sitting at Spear Wines. Um, you are soon to be discovering one of these wines that I'm holding, the Seaward Syrah. Um, but first, let me tell you a bit about Spear. We've been around since 1692, which is a pretty long time. Um, we haven't always been making wine, but of late we're making wine and we, uh, we're quite, quite proud of it. Uh, Spear has always been a very inspirational place. Uh, it's been one of the first wineries of the wine route in Stellenbosch. Today we're trying uh, very hard and we're actually pioneering social upliftment and enterprise development at Spear. And you can see there's little devices on the labels that'll talk about that. Please go into that and it's called Growing for Good and see what it's, what it's about. Um, back to the wine. The Seaward wines, we take inspiration from from the oceans that surround South Africa. We've got the cold western uh, Atlantic and we've got the Indian Ocean on the south and to the east. And this plays a very big role in the climate and the microclimate that we find in our vineyards. Uh, for the seaward range, we look at vineyards that's not more than 20 kilometers from, from the coast, from the cold coast, which is the Atlantic coast. And, um, and the reason for that is we want particular flavors in the wine. We want pure, uh, almost cassis-like fruit in the Syrah. We want some pepper notes, which, more, which is typically associated with, with uh, colder climates. Um, and of course, the cooler, cooler evenings uh, that happens because of the influence from the ocean gives us nice dark color. So here's the wine. You can see it's pretty, pretty rich, pretty dark in color. Um, and it's got lovely notes of a little bit of black current characteristics it's got some violets, uh, which is very typical from a region called Darling. It's a pretty name for a region. Um, it's up on the west coast. And the other half of the wine is, is from Stellenbosch, which is the more structured wine. Um, very delightful, sulky. I always talk about a sort of a, a velvet characteristic to this wine. But it's got a little bit of tannin in the back, so it's a bit like a... Iron Fist and the Velvet Glove. Please enjoy this with your favorite uh, pork dishes. If you have some curry flavors that you like to bring into your foods, this will like that sort of spicy characteristics. Or of course, just with good conversation. Thank you, enjoy it, cheers.